Welcome everybody to the weekly photo challenges. This week's is selfies that don't suck. And here's your opening theme. Fix this in post. <laughs> uh, so today we have a special guest. This is... Uh, Sterling Peebles. This is Sterling Peebles and she's our photo expert for this week. Uh, so first up we're gonna get, we're just gonna jump right into these photos and um, hope you like them. First up we have Exposure 2 by Caitlin Ducey. So what do you like about this one, Miss Peebles? I like the vivid imagery and the colors bring out the picture. Yeah, the colors in this one are pretty interesting. What do you think about like the fact that uh, this person is like all over the place and really in motion? It says who she is. It really does, and I think that's why I picked this one, um, because it's it's a photo of her painting, and Caitlin, I know, is actually a painting major, so um, really great photo, and it looks like your painting's coming along really nice. So what do, you, what do you think? Any more on this one? I really like the focus and the composition she did with the imagery. Oh, yeah, good call. I didn't even think of that. That's so why we got you here. You're the expert. Uh, okay, up next is a photo by Katie Diego, and I know this one, Sterling, was one of your favorites. So why don't you, why don't you tell us why? This is the Sterling pick of the week. I really like how she arranged the table with the teacups and the teapot. It uh, it really takes the conversation at heart. Oh, great. Yeah, you can definitely tell that she put a lot of thought and effort into this photo. Um, really great stuff, and it looks like she had a, a fun time out in her backyard. Having some tea. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on. So, um, yeah, this next photo, uh, Sterling and I actually had a little bit of a debate because she liked the other one better and I liked this one better and I told her since I was the boss that I got to pick the one. Um, this one is actually really interesting. There's a, a really good sense of foreground, middle ground where uh, Stacy, who is this person, um, is sitting and then a, it just fades into the background. Um, uh, really cool green against red. Uh, I feel like we get that every week. but. Um, yeah, really cool stuff. What do you like about this one, Sterling? I like the imagery of how mysterious it looks. It is really mysterious. Uh, and I'm kind of, con and I really just don't know why this one plant that's super in focus is kind of wrapping around um, the girl sitting down. So I kind of want to know her thought process and why she chose to pick this image. Um, so maybe she could leave a comment on her photo on the Facebook page. Next. Hit down. <laughs> no, that's up. Cool. What's this one called? <laughs> this one's called Lights, Camera, Me by Mary Diego. Um, what we said we liked about this one was obviously all the reflections. It's pretty trippy. Um, and it's very three-dimensional in the design, in the background. Yeah, yeah, it really is. That the gr It looks like it's a grass. I don't even know what this thing is. But um, that grass in the background just makes everything just pop right out. And uh, we really like all the converging lines in it. Um, was there anything else that you liked about it? And the imagery of it, of the colors. Yeah, the colors are really great too, you're right. Um, we got some complementary colors coming in here. And I like that she kind of put herself in it with the, with the camera because uh, it kind of shows who she is. She likes to take photos. Obviously, she wouldn't be doing this if she didn't like to take photos. All right, the next one. Let's start with you on this one because uh, when I popped this one up earlier, Sterling was just like, ooh. So tell me about why you went, ooh. Well, not many people take black and white pictures in the digital cameras. And, and the conversation is really great with the black and white, especially in the background and the foreground. 
Ooh, I like it. So, and what I liked about this one, it's, it's called Duality. And um, obviously, it's a really heavily Photoshopped, and um, I really like that. I like the design patterns, the, all those lines, um, a lot of triangles. And on the left side, you have this kind of like, it looks kind of like this crazy screaming. It looks like a lot of energy. But on the right side, it's more calm and collected. So I like the duality of it. Um, the, the common collected person is obviously much smaller in scale. Um, so it's just kind of kind of makes you think about who this person is and how everyone has kind of two sides to them. And the image is really cool with the black and white. It really brings out the sharpness of the quality in the picture. I agree. I really, really, really sharp, great focus, um, just really good technical skills. I agree, Sterling. All right, Sterling, I told you, you've got to talk about this one. Well, these are like a bunch of really bright roosters. The color is great. The image is vivid and real. It's real, huh? <laughs> what do you think about the chop saw? It's very ma masculine. <laughs> and sharp. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Great. That's a perfect story. Like, all right. It's perfect. What's this next one? Uh, this one is from Mary Nestle. And I want to talk about this one a little bit, but first I want to, I want to get your thoughts, Sterling. I really like how she positioned herself in the bushes around her head. She says um, she's got a lot of nature in her. And the colors are great. And it's very vivid with the sun bouncing off some of the leaves. Yeah, I think that's a really great description of this, actually. Um, one thing I kind of... Um, didn't like about this one actually was she was right smack in the middle of the frame and I thought that she could have played with the bushes a little bit more um, maybe been I don't know just to use use the composition I, I really like this photo but I think this composition is the weakest part and I think if she had played around with that it would have made it just a little bit stronger but I really like what you were saying before how she has a lot of nature in her and that's why I like this selfie so much, because it really describes who this person is. I agree, I agree with you about the composition. Great. Aspect. I love it. And so next up we have Between the <laughs> Weeds by Chelsea McKean. And um, definitely this one grabbed me uh, right away. Uh, Chelsea McKean is always putting out really strong photos. She's from over in New Hampshire. And she's a, a little nature girl herself, so I think this, this is a really perfect reflection of who she is. Um, what do you think about, hmm. about a Sterling? Well, the colors are very vivid, and you can see uh, through the sunlight as, as it touches the, the green. It really brings out the greenish in Vermont. Yeah, I like it. Um, so yeah, there definitely is a lot of green in this photo. Um, and there, it's a really, really warm green at that too. So there's a warm all around, but the yellow in the sunflowers definitely pops. And uh, the yellow in your hair, Chelsea, actually really pops as well. And I kind of like that you can't see your face. It kind of adds a little bit of mystery to it. And you kind of look like, one in your garden there you, you know you're very much at peace and I like that you're not wearing shoes you, you're a little hippie um, <laughs> it brings a lot of shadows there's a lot of shadows and you know really good contrast in this you're right so great job Chelsea and uh, keep up the good work what you think I really like the composition in this picture you like the composition, huh? Well, right. I like the lighting of the stars above. A little in the background. And very well placed as the position. 
In this photo, I know it must not have been easy, and that's why I kind of want to rank it up high in this uh, in this top ten list, um, or my top ten, um, or our top ten. So this photo had to come with like a great deal of difficulty because I imagine this was a long exposure and. Um, Carly, you must have had to stay very, very still for this one. Um, I don't know, it must have been at least like a 20 second exposure, I'm not sure, but really, really great. I like that uh, it's almost just about all of it is in focus, which is, must have been really, really hard to do. I want to know how many times you had to do this in order to get this photo right. Um, but really, really great, and Sterling actually wanted this one to be the photo of the week. But I had to say no, so sorry, Carly. Uh, maybe next week. <laughs> and, uh, and I really like the shadows in the background. Yeah, I like how everything is just like super silhouetted, right? Yeah. It's just pure black. And blend it in. Yeah. With the imagery. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> so I'll talk about this one since it was my pick of the week. Sorry. <laughs> So this one is from Dylan Smith. Dylan has been giving us fish photos uh, just about every time. But this one, you really, you know, great job on this selfie because it just, it's perfect for who you are. I think every week um, you give us something about fish or fishing or boats or something like that. But this one really describes who you are, and that's why I picked it. There's a lot of really strong diagonals. I love the trees. and um, In the shadows. They bring out the lines. Definitely. They definitely do. Really great contrast. My only um, gripe with it is I think it's a little bit underexposed. I think the water was like a little bit muddy, so I think if you had up the contrast just a little bit, it would have made it a little bit stronger. But, you know, I really like this photo. Um, great work, Dylan, and I uh, hope you ate that fish. Huh. Yes. We're all done. <laughs> So thank you for watching this week. This was uh, Selfies That Don't Suck. Next week is going to be a little bit different. We're actually going to take a little bit of time off, but there's a good reason for that. And so stay tuned to the Facebook page for instructions uh, on next week's challenge. Um, definitely make sure to like, comment, and share all over our Facebook page. And um, this has been Chris Diego, and thank you for viewing with us. And my guest today... Stone Beals. We are signing off. Thanks for watching, folks.